Hey guys, Adam with the Clifton Door here with Dave Cannonberry. Dave, how are you doing today, brother? How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. Dave, you've been a busy man here. You got the Self Reliance magazine. You got some uh, knives here with Blind Horse. Yeah. Dual Survival, your new book. So let's start out. What's what's been going on with you? Well, you know, everything's booming right now. I'm working with Blind Horse knives really closely. I've been for a couple years now, mm -hmm. making knives, designing bushcraft type knives, survival knives for areas all over the world. Now that I've got the luck. You know, of being on dual survival, mm -hmm. being able to take these knives all over the world, it allows me to test different designs for where they work. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we all know there's no one knife. That's right. You know, it just it's, it's all environmental. And along with that, you know, my relationship with Blind Horse has led into Self Reliance Illustrated Magazine. We're just trying to pull a magazine together that's very eclectic that mm -hmm. teaches self reliance at every level, not just yeah. wilderness self reliance, yep. but self reliance in the home, self reliance in the car, at the office. You know, everywhere that you need to be self reliant, Self Reliance Illustrated is going to be there for you. So, you know, guys like you should be writing articles for guys like <laughs> us. That's what I'm saying. Um, and then, of course, we've got the book, Survivability for the Common yeah. Man. And that basically is just a culmination of what I've done, which is, you know, taking all those survival manuals that are out there, mm -hmm. testing the theories inside those survival manuals to see, does this work? Does it not work? Does it work better for the civilian than it does for a soldier? Mm -hmm. Would it work for a civilian at all in this application? Mm -hmm. And condense that down and, you know, taking that 80-20 rule yeah. and try to take that 20% of what's really going to help you survive in the wild if you get stuck in an emergency situation yeah. and put it in that book. Most effective and efficient tools to put in your toolbox, right? Exactly. Awesome. Well, what's going on with dual survival while we're talking about that? Uh, dual survival. We're in our second season now. Ratings are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, got so, some really good exotic locations. So do you have a confirmation on the third season yet? No confirmation <laughs> on season three yet. Ratings are really high. Yeah. Let's see what happens. You know, everybody's got to keep their fingers crossed. Yeah. And just Go from there. I know everybody's been really enjoying it, really good stuff. And uh, you know, I think that you and uh, Cody have really been pushing the envelope with a lot of good stuff and techniques that you're showing out. Well, and, you know, they they push that. Yeah, they push that. And I gotta say, I love the the art of self reliance that you put in every episode because it, it you know it's one of those things. Not only is it entertainment, but you also you guys really really push the education. I think that's really important because a lot of shows, you know, you know, it's got to balance the entertainment there. But you guys are really pushing the education. I would appreciate that. Yeah, that's one of the things that Cody and I are very adamant about mm -hmm. with the show. I mean, you've always got to have that entertainment value yeah. in a television program to get an audience to watch it. But the educational value of that program is what Cody and I really push in every episode. Mm -hmm. What can we teach people that they can take away from this? Yeah. Because there's more to take away than just, man, did you see that show? Did you see what that guy did with that? Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah. It's, not just, not just that. shock value. I can do that with mm -hmm. something I have in my house. I can do that with my kids in the woods. Mm -hmm. That might save my life one of these days. That's what we want to get across to people. Absolutely. And also the Pathfinder School. You guys doing, just yeah. bought a big piece of property for the school. Yeah, we bought a 65 acre piece of property. It's got several caves on it. Yeah, it's awesome. It's got four different bio regions on the property. Mm -hmm. It's got a huge repelling wall on it as well. Um, and, you know, we're teaching class there as well as now working on, in South Carolina mm -hmm. with Chan Sanders and Dan Moore. We've got the Northeast location that we work on in Massachusetts with Derek Feria <laughs> and uh, our newest Pathfinder instructor, Dave Mitch Mitchell. Mm -hmm. And we've also got an area that we're working on in Florida now in the Fakahatchee Reserve to teach classes starting in October with a new instructor, Scott Barron, down awesome. in Florida. So the, are your classes now going year round or you got to you got to work around your shooting schedule, of course, but... Right now I do have to work a little bit around my shooting schedule. I've got mm -hmm. classes scheduled out to October. Okay. Once I find out you know August September time frame on season three no season three film dates no film dates mm -hmm. then I'll push the envelope a little further I'd like to do some winter class this year in Ohio nice as well and one of the cool thing I want to point out in the book you guys just got a new waterproof version of it yeah we actually you know I, we printed the first uh, survivability for the common man we printed it in paper we'll, copy. Go, ahead, we'll go ahead and grab it <laughs> we, we printed the first people copy. like people like props <laughs> You're right. it's a good prop um, we printed the first copy of this in a paperback form, yeah. like most other survival manuals out there. And I got to thinking to myself, you know, I actually had a waterproof Bible. Mm -hmm. And I was looking through it one day and I was reading it and I was like, you know, this would be a really good idea for a survival manual yeah. because I don't worry about what I do with that waterproof Bible. I throw it in my pack. Yeah. If I drop it in the river, I don't care. Yeah. It's going to come out fine. You don't have to use the double, the double Ziploc bags or anything like that? No, I don't even worry about it. I just throw it in there. <laughs> so then I thought, you know, if I could call that company mm -hmm. and get them to print my book in waterproof yeah. format, then I got a real tool on my hands, not just a book that's going to sit on the back of the commode, yeah. you know, at the house. It's going to be right. in somebody's backpack. You know, that's, that's one thing. Whenever I go out and do training, I always grab a book, bring it out there because, sure. you know, while you're out there, time learn something new Absolutely. always awesome. Absolutely. well dave thank you very much hey, i appreciate thank you very it very much adam i appreciate it and anybody wants to get in contact with you they can just go to the pathfinder website and of course your youtube channel i'm sure everybody's a subscriber to that yeah <laughs> absolutely and your your youtube channel as well oh thank you, know, you sir thank equip you. to endure awesome i watch your videos thanks bud i'm a big fan i appreciate, I appreciate it. it me too I'm a subscriber all i right. encourage everybody to subscribe thank to your thanks videos, bud man. all right no hey problem. guys adam from equip door if you guys have any questions or comments email me at adam at equip you guys take care be safe out there and remember you're not always prepared you're never prepared thanks thanks dave that was awesome brother appreciate it hey give me a call